Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. PUBG update 25.1 brings a brand new Aston Martin vehicle collaboration, which allows you to get three new vehicle skins to swap and replace older style PUBG vehicles. There's been talks about these new skins actually having better hit detection, driving dynamics, and even being able to save you from a frag grenade. So in today's review and comparison, we're gonna break down all the ins and outs to those details and answer the question, should you be using them? Let's find out. Now to do this comparison, we're gonna look at three different parameters for each vehicle. We'll be comparing their hitboxes to see where your player can actually be shot while inside of the vehicle. We'll compare each vehicle's performance to see if they're slower, faster, or better off-road than the other. And we're gonna see if it is true that you can survive from a frag grenade by hiding behind certain vehicles. Now, when comparing the RB Coupe to the Aston Convertible front on, it's pretty clear that the Aston Martin has a lower roof line and a thinner overall windshield, allowing your player to have more protection from incoming shooters. In addition, the player sits lower in the car, so only the head of the player is really exposed, whereas the RB Coupe, about half of the upper body and the head is exposed, and the windshield in general is larger and easier to see and shoot at. So that's definitely a point towards the Aston here. Now when comparing the A pillar, that's the front quarter section of the vehicle, the Aston Martin has the advantage here again. Not only does it have that lower roof line, but it has a thicker pillar that's gonna block more incoming shots, making it harder for an enemy to shoot you as you're driving past. Continuing to the side profile, it's the same story here. The Aston clearly has the advantage because the player is sitting so low in the vehicle that only the neck and the head of the player is exposed. However, there is one caveat here. On the Aston Martin, the top does go down on the vehicle, meaning that you can actually shoot through the convertible soft top, whereas the Coupe RB, you cannot shoot through the top of that vehicle. So depending on what kind of angle the shooter has on you, if they're shooting from an upward down angle, there is an opportunity for the roof of the coupe to block the bullets, whereas the Aston Martin, the bullets will penetrate that roof and hit your player. Wrapping around to the back quarter panel of the vehicle, also known as a C pillar, the Aston Martin is at a disadvantage here again, because that soft top can be shot through, your player is fully exposed to the back of the head and you know, upper shoulders and neck area, whereas the RB Coupe, the player is completely blocked because those bullets cannot penetrate the soft top. Wrapping around to the back side of the vehicles, you'll see again here that the Aston Martin is at a severe disadvantage. Not only can the soft top be shot through, but the back headrest of the seat can also be shot through. So there's virtually no protection for you as a driver or passenger if you're getting shot at by someone behind you. The only saving grace is that the seating position is so low, so there's very little of your head to be seen or shot at. Comparatively, if you look at the RB Coupe, although yes, the back windshield is larger, so you can see through it and you have more sights on the enemy player, there's more things blocking incoming bullets. So the soft top does block incoming shots. The back headrest does block incoming shots. So it's very hard to consistently hit a target in the Coupe RB versus the Aston Martin. Now when stepping out of the vehicles, the Aston Martin does provide better protection for your player if you have to crouch behind one side of the vehicle from incoming fire or to revive your teammate. If you're crouched and crouched leaning specifically, you can remain almost 100% undetected behind the Aston Martin. Even under the vehicle, it's very, very hard to see your player because the car is so low to the ground. However, it is still possible to get shot in your feet and ankles and at the very top of your head if you're not sitting in the perfect position behind the Aston Martin. Comparing that to the RB Coupe, the top of the head is exposed about the same amount, so just enough to barely get shot. However, your feet and ankles are much more exposed, making it a lot easier for DMR or AR shots to repeatedly connect to you behind the Coupe. Now this next one, you really have to see for yourself to believe. In the patch notes, PUBG said that the Aston Martin can actually block or negate grenade damage completely if you're behind a certain side of the vehicle. Now doing a few examples, it is 100% repeatable that if you crouch or stand behind the Aston Martin and a grenade is on the other side of the vehicle, you will not take any damage. However, 
If you go prone behind the Aston Martin, your player then has sight lines with the grenade explosion and will take damage from it. And that's due to how PUBG's explosive damage works. The explosive as it detonates must have a line of sight to the player. So even a thin object standing between you and a frag grenade could save you from the explosive damage. And in this case, because the Aston Martin is so low to the ground, it acts as that blockage of sight lines. Now, when comparing the Coupe RB, it is possible to get the grenade not to do any damage to you, but it's very hard and not very repeatable. You have to hide behind a certain part of the vehicle, almost using the wheels as blockage from the explosive damage. And you can imagine in the middle of a firefight, you're not going to have the time or the wherewithal to find that perfect spot to hide every time. So here in this case, the Aston Martin is the clear winner in terms of hiding from explosive damage. Now that you understand the gist of the hitbox comparison, we'll just do a quick recap of the DBX SUV and how it compares to the Bronco, the Zima, and the UAZ, all of which can replace its skin type. In general, the story is the same when compared to the Coupe, whereas the Aston Martin is going to be the more exotic and sportier version of these vehicles. It'll have a lower roof line, a lower seating position, and a thinner windshield to shoot out of both front and back, making your player harder to hit and harder to see while inside of the vehicle. And there's just one caveat I'll point out that I noticed in the Aston Martin SUV, and that's that the headrests appear that they could potentially block bullets, but they do not. The top of the headrest can be shot through and your player will take normal damage. On the Bronco truck, since the body of the truck itself is bigger, it could actually provide you better cover outside of the vehicle because you and your teammates are able to hide behind the B pillar C pillar or just the body of the truck itself, even after it's exploded and is no longer drivable, it still is a better piece of cover. So that's one thing to consider. All right, and the last piece of the puzzle that we need to cover is the performance of the vehicles. Now, thankfully, the speed, acceleration, and braking are unchanged no matter which skin you apply it to. However, what does change is the vehicle's driving characteristics due to the different ride heights and suspension travel that each vehicle has. Comparing the Coupe to the Aston Martin, both vehicles are the same exact speed. However, the Coupe has a much softer suspension, so it's much more compliant on turns, bumps, and oscillations, and especially when taking it off-road. The Aston Martin, on the other hand, hates going off-road. And in fact, if you go fast enough on-road and you hit certain bumps, you can actually flip the vehicle out of control simply by going too fast on-road. Bruh. Looking at the DBX SUV, the story's pretty similar there. Because it is a more sporty SUV than the Zima, the UAZ, or the Bronco truck, it's going to have a tighter feel in its handling, but that also means that it'll be a little bit more bumpy and harder to control off-road. Now, that doesn't mean it's worse than the other vehicles. For example, the Bronco truck is one of the slowest vehicles off-road. It spins out constantly, whereas the DBX is much more controllable and manageable on and off-road. And it's not like it's going to flip out of control like the Aston Martin convertible does. But if you were to compare it to something like the Zima, the Zima has all-wheel drive because it's meant for Vikendi. So let's say you're playing on Vikendi and you decide to swap the Zima for the DBX, you're going to miss out on that all-wheel drive component, making it a bit harder to control off-road there. So let's summarize here. Is the Coupe RB better or worse than the Aston Martin convertible? Well, from a hitbox detection standpoint, the coupe is certainly worse. It has a bigger windshield, bigger windows, and more areas that you can get hit at from the front and sides. However, from the rears and top, the coupe RB is the clear winner because it cannot be shot through, whereas the Aston Martin's convertible top can completely be shot through. There's a pretty big trade-off to have there. In addition, the Aston Martin has to be very careful about how fast you drive off-road and even in some cases like you've seen on-road. And of course, let's not forget about the grenade damage reduction that the Aston Martin has, but to be fair to PUBG, they are looking at the grenade damage and the hitbox differences, so they may be making some tweaks to that in the coming weeks. So I think the Aston Martin convertible is safe to say it is not pay to win, but it's not pay to lose either. Now looking at the DBX, comparing it to the UAZ, Zima, and the Bronco truck, I think the story is pretty similar here. If anything, it's more in favor of the DBX because it has all the benefits of the smaller hitboxes, smaller windshields and windows, but it doesn't handle any worse than any of the other vehicles. So if it were me and my money and I'd be looking to get one of the three new Aston Martin vehicles, I'm going to be going for the DBX myself.
So let me know what you guys think down below. Which vehicle are you looking forward to getting the most? Or do you think neither of them are worth it? And I guess I should mention too, if you've gotten this far in the video and you don't know how to get any of these vehicles, I have a whole guide on how to do the crafter pass and what you need to get done to unlock any of the three vehicles. I'll link that video up above or down below. Make sure to leave a like in this video, get subscribed if you're new to the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.